What's up viewers, it's your boy DJ Nitro and what we're going to do in this video is show you how I sync my library to Serato. Now even though I am a virtual DJ user, I like to have also my music in Serato. Now one thing I hate about Serato and I don't care if you are a super fan of Serato, you also hate this shit too, which is you're unable to have your library the same way you have on a computer in Serato. After you set up your whole library, majority of the time, you then have to go in Serato, find it, and then drag and drop it. It's a hassle, and over 10 years, they haven't done anything to it. Now, there are companies out there, like Record Buddy, that's trying to fix that situation. But right now, it only works on Serato, Tractor, and record box and also the only operating system it works on is the mac nevertheless in the near future they are going to have it on the window and later on on virtual dj but for right now i'm going to show you guys a way to go ahead and sync your library to serato the same way i have it in virtual dj Let's take a look, all right? Okay, so anything that I show you guys here, I'm gonna make sure and have in the description tab below, okay? So the first thing you will need to do is actually download Java. Once you download Java, you'll go into this link here, okay? And download the latest application. Now, even though the latest application was in September of 20. 10, I can assure you that it still works on Windows 7, 8, and 10. This computer currently runs on Windows 10, and I'm going to show you guys how it works, okay? So once you do that, you want to find that application that you downloaded, and actually move it to your desktop, okay? Once you move it to the desktop, you're going to open Notepad and put this code in here. Now again, I would have this code in the description, so all you gotta do is copy and paste once you do that. Once you have this information on here, there's two things you're changing. The information here, which will be considered the path to your personal music collection, basically where all of your music that you DJ to. And then the next thing you'll be changing is the path to your Serato library. Okay, which is that information you see highlighted. Now let me show you how to get there. All right, so first you're gonna go to where your music is. So my music is right here. As you can see, all of my music is here. So what you're gonna do is right click on this library right here and do copy address, okay? And you're gonna highlight from here and copy and paste. All I did right there is do control V. Okay. Now, to make this work, you actually have to add something extra on here, which is the double dash. So you're gonna put a double dash here, one double dash here, here, and here. That's the only way it's gonna work, okay? Now, you wanna find the path to your Serato library. So I'm gonna go back here and show you guys where it is. Here it is right here. Again, you're gonna right click here. Press copy address. Highlight here. Copy and paste. Same thing apply. What you're gonna do after the equal sign, double dash, one more dash here, add one here, and add one here. So basically, once you do that, you're almost done, okay? So the next thing you're gonna do is actually save the file. So file and save as. Now the file name must be in a certain way. So the way the file name is, needs to be is h-sync.property. 
and then under the save as type you want to go ahead and save that as all file and then you want to save it in the same location the property is which is on your desktop i'm going to press save now here it is right here i'm gonna bring it closer to here so here it is here okay now let me show you how my serato currently look okay i already have music in here and as you can see here is all my music now if you look at my virtual dj you can see here's my music same thing now i'm gonna show you how this thing works so i'm gonna close this out and where my music is what i'm gonna do is add this line dance on here okay go ahead and drop it in there then all i gotta do is double click this and as you can see how much track is in there as you can see it have 22 crates now and 53 sub crate press ok and now i'm gonna open serato and as you can see bam here is the line dance put that in there so, clearly it works drop that in there just choose another one let's do it so you see it's just as simple guys just to just press it if you don't get that code in there right that's gonna be your biggest issue now I'm gonna show you guys this too as you can see I moved the folder back out here now when I double click on it now as you can see it says 21 crates so that means that crate is moved but when you go back in Serato, you will still see that crate in there. But if you play anything, you're not, you notice it's not going to play anything. You're going to have this, you know, they can't find the music. So if you move something in the crate, you know how to delete it, control, delete, and now it's gone. But, but if you go into any other folder, as you can see, it will play it with no problem. All right, guys, so that was a quick tutorial on how I sync my library to Serato. And I use this currently until Rekordbox finally release the window version. And then also when it will be available for Virtual DJ. Now, my Virtual DJ users, I'm going to leave a link at the bottom where you could go ahead and vote what should be on there and even though right now when it comes to the next DJ software for him to work on is virtual DJ I want you guys to go up in there register and hit that vote for virtual DJ so therefore you know as soon as the version for Windows come out the next thing he'll work on is virtual DJ so I need for you guys to really hit that up okay all right viewers so that was my video I really hope you enjoyed it if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button let me know what you guys think about the video or what other application is out there that, that you are using to sync your library to Serato also go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Alright? I'm going to see you viewers.